I was invited to talk at an NPP rally organized by the IT professionals of Sri Lanka who support Arora. Here's what I had to say. I have not still decided who I'm going to vote for today. This is this upcoming election. But I will definitely vote for somebody who is going to be focused on not just paying our debts, but somebody who's basically going to be focused on growth. One Sunday afternoon, I get a call from and he told me that he's organizing a rally for NPP um, and that he's doing this with his fellow IT professionals who support Anura. And he wanted me to come and share my experience as a young entrepreneur. Rode has been through ups and downs and he told me to come and share all those with, um, with the people there, around thousand people there. My initial reaction was that I still haven't decided to vote for anybody yet. So I was like, I can't endorse him, but he was like, no, that's not what we are calling you for. We just want you to come and share your experience. I was like, great, this is a great opportunity, but also a marketing opportunity because we just had dropped new merch. As you saw me handing over it to Anura, which was this small um, mini roder that you can put, it's a pen holder also. It was a cool merch because we, um, for every 200 order of that merch, we give like a 99% discount for our e-bikes. So I was like, okay, yeah, this is a growth opportunity. Let me go and uh, talk and then share my experience and then market myself also. If you want to watch the full video, check it out. Um, it's on YouTube. Um, and let me know if you want to post it, if you want me to post it on TikTok also. But yeah, I just wanted to just take the opportunity to just, just talk about it and then also thank uh, for this opportunity to showcase Roda and also share the entrepreneurial struggles that we as young entrepreneurs in Sri Lanka go through every single day. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Welcoming to address you all, Mr. Iaz Fazul, CEO of Roda. This is a small gift for Mr. Anur Visistanaika at the end. I will show it to you. Um, thank you very much for having me. I am extremely grateful and humbled by this opportunity to be able to talk to everybody here. Um, I have a speech here, but I'm not going to be sticking to the speech. More or less, I'll be there. But um, I just want to say, I don't know if you know me, I am Iyas Fazul. I started a company called Roda. It's a, it's, a, it's a vision for a sustainable transportation. We were talking about sustainable future. My vision was how do we get around and do move around Sri Lanka the way we want, without having to worry about money, uh, without having to worry about how much you have, how much, what, whatever you need, but be able to move, with the, to have the freedom to move. This is what we wanted to build in Sri Lanka, and this is what I tried to build, and this is with, with an electric bike. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. I've not, never seen this much of a crowd in public first time, so it's a bit... Uh, but I'll, I'm sure I'll get over it soon. Um, so yeah, it, mainly it was the passion to build a company for sustainable transportation. And I was, I'm here because I was, call, say, I, I say I was told that I am the representative for young entrepreneurs in Sri Lanka. And I'm humbled by that and I thank you for that opportunity. So I'm going to share as a young entrepreneur what are my thoughts in building, this com building a company in Sri Lanka, ideas of a startup, and what, what, we, what I went through, what can be done, and what, how we want to look at the future. The theme for this conversation, mainly my speech, is going to be confidence. Because, like Nike said it, just do it. That's the first thing of, of startups, to have the confidence to do it. They say just do it, but they say, you know, you also buy, have to buy the shoes to do it, to you know, buy their running shoes and then you will be able to break the world record. Just like that, to be able to get the confidence, we need to, ha we need to feel confident within ourselves. It is, firstly, it is emotional confidence. Um, that's the most central of it all. But other than that, there are 10 types of confidence that we as entrepreneurs, as startup, um, young, passionate people trying to build a company. And I'm going to list them down to you. 
because without them without that system it's very it's, it's almost impossible to be able to um, start what we start first thing is financial confidence to be able to be confident that you are able to secure an investment any some financial support for your startup for your company for your idea legal confidence to be able to know that the frameworks the 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 legal systems of the country is going to be favor you and not hold you back in trying to build this regulatory confidence making sure that we have it's it's a fair it, it's fair for us it has to be transparent things when we want to do something when we want to like open a company or when we want to go and register at the industry every all the information is just super transparent to be able to go and just do it market confidence to be able to know that there is not going to be monopolistic tendencies and big industry are, can shut us down infrastructure confidence to be able to know that you are able to move things get things down logistics thing, to have the ecosystem for you to be able to transportation mainly talent i'm sure many of you guys know here we are here because we choose to be here but many of our peers have left because of a brain drain so we we as startup entrepreneurs we need to be able to confid be confident that we will have the talent we need to build what we want to build innovation confidence we build something and we want to patent something but we need to be able to be confident that we can patent something uh, when i started road a lot of people said you know you should patent uh, the design and what not so many people told me but there was one person that told me don't bother patenting because it's very expensive if you can't defend that patent export confidence to be able to say that you know what i can build something and i have the i have the means to be able to export it in for to share nobody's going to um, block me this cannot be said in for many industries cultural confidence to have a community to be able to know that there is support around you to believe that you know if there is something going wrong there is support they will hold our hands and then policy confidence to be able to say that any policy that was set forth is not going to just last an election cycle it's going to last as we grow because a startup doesn't take it's you can't build a startup in like 5 years i've been building i i've been in this startup journey for 6 years now rather 4 years so we need to be able to have no stability now the reason i told this confidence is because i wanted to set the scene that these are the things that we as entrepreneurs as startup need to be able to con we have the confidence to do but my experience was not that i had to learn everything by myself because there was nobody to be able to like go and ask as an entrepreneur you're going to do new things you have you have to bring down new stuff you need to make new stuff you need new approvals none of this i i had the confidence to be able to do i had the emotional confidence the passion mainly you know like i always say if anybody comes in the young like kids come and ask me what what how can i start a company i always say it's you have to have the itch to be able to start because that itch is going to push you through out all the barriers that you have all these blocks that you have all these doors that you have in front of you first it's going to be obviously the emotional confidence but then you need to be able to see okay i can legally i can get it done okay uh, financial okay there is investors here i was i missed out on a 100 million rupee investment from international and local investors because i lacked certain confidences these challenges like because i was not able to be confident confident and tell that like, my investors that hey we can get get uh, we can build what we want to build and we are not going to have any barriers because we did have a barriers so the idea of trying being like the idea of trying to do a startup trying to be a young entrepreneur 
being driven by your passion and you know you have some sort of emotional confidence because around you say you know you can do it but then when you get to reality that's not the case if i was to talk about um boi right boi i went to boi boi said no you have to have more than 3 million dollars for us to even consider your uh, that's 900 million rupees for us to even give consider any sort of concessions or what not i'm not asking for concessions right now but what i'm saying is they they said no they they will hand hold if you bring in 900, 900 million rupees into sri lanka they will hold your hands all this things that i this 10 items that i told you they will give you help you alleviate any worries and be able to be confidently do all those things but for a startup there is nothing there are start, like startup programs accelerator programs done by different companies in sri lanka but they also have their limits i am here right now my rother exists today is because of one such startup uh, accelerator but still they also have their limits because when it comes to government no matter how big your business is no matter how influential you are it doesn't get done because there is no centralization towards any of this again i am i am not i don't want to be here complaining because there is so many opportunity opportunities that i have that i have been having for the company for my company for the for sustainable future but if we have a system that gives us a confidence central confidence in these things a board of startups maybe a board of entrepreneurs how easy would our life be now why our life our, our this startup why why should we think about worry about startups because if we are now if we are looking at just investments from foreign investors maybe you will get like one or two a year or month maximum you know 10 10 12 per year but if you give the confidence to startup entrepreneurs all you here i'm 100% sure if i ask how many people has a startup idea half of the room will raise their hand at least if we give the confidence here one month you can get like maybe 30 40 entrepreneurs wanting to start their business so that's how silicon valley was built in 30 years ago because they had the confidence because they around them they had a nurture of you know you know you do what you want to do we will give you the support not the government but a centralized centralized power actually they are called california government i am here uh, i am not i have not still decided who i am going to vote for today this is especially it's upcoming election but i will definitely vote for somebody who is going to be focused on not just paying our debts but somebody who is basically going to be focused on growth America's economy right now exists because of four big companies that all started in garages 30 years ago. I built Rode my first prototype was in a garage. I envisioned I'm going to be one of those companies in Sri Lanka that started out of a garage and is big a big deal. Just like me we have 20 million 22 million people in Sri Lanka at least half of them want to build something. so i am going to vote for somebody who focuses on that growth who gives me the confidence to be able to say we will hear you and we are going to work work for you we are all here right now all of us right now have opportunities outside the country i am i guarantee especially in the it industry but we choose to be here we choose to be in our motherland because we still have hope I hope it's not blind hope because I'm this close to leaving but I don't want to because this is home So my summary would be let's for, let's let's give those young wide-eyed people kids men women whoever it is the confidence to be able to 
build what they want to build. All it takes is one company to hit like a billion dollars, and all of a sudden we become the we become a huge industry. Our peers, people like you know, who are sitting over, seated over here, you all you you built the foundation for us. We at at Do It Five. I'm sure. I'm sure there's Do It One, Two, Three, Four, that they built the. So it's our, it's it's our responsibility to, you know, make sure that there's a Do It Ten, and it's not just an empty room. So this is my call to action, and this is my thoughts that I'm sharing. I hope I don't offend anybody, and I hope I didn't offend anybody. And. Thank you very much for this opportunity again. So I said there is one more thing here. Um, if I don't mind, I can give it to you. So it's basically a model of Rother. Um, it's a pen holder also. Can I come give it? That's actually uh, one of our merchants that we are releasing to raise some money for our company. So if you want to support Rother, please head to our website www. Sorry, Kodi at the Kaka. So please forgive me. Um, <laughs> I mean, I have I'm in front of 800 people. I'm sure there's so many people who want to support. Go to our website. You can see the information and support us. And thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, yeah, and I just want to say thank you. That's it. <laughs>